Hey, welcome to the second part of this three parts videos about here we go the truck and the trailer with the helicopter remember from the first video that if we well, this is hard to control with one hand but when we reverse and go forward with the truck the trailer stays on unless this happens the legs go down on the trailer then the truck is free so let's, let's take a closer look at what happens right now the truck is free but if we have more than one hand to control it then we can back up and pick up the trailer so what actually happens is that we have a mechanism right here in the middle of the truck and let me just take off the helicopter because it will be we'll look at that in uh, the third, third video so see what happens is that when we go forward with the trailer nothing happens with the mechanism but as soon as we reverse we can see the legs turn around and if we take a look at the front here a small split goes up and down like that and when the legs are down like this then the split is down up here this splits once it is on the truck make sure that the trailer does not actually stick onto the truck but as soon as it's up like this legs are up or nearly up like this then the trailer has no problem latching onto the truck. This mechanism is just a simple uh, one-way split mechanism like this. This is a mock-up of the trailer. We have the wheels of course in the back and then there's this little thing here that can turn up. So when you go forward you see the power going to the front of the trailer should not move. I'll add a little tension like this. Then you can see that it remains and uh, the wheel connected, or the gear connected to the red part clicks up. But as soon as we reverse, the mechanism locks down and you got power going to the front. So this is exactly what you see here. Whenever we go forward, this red thing clicks this and then we go back it goes down and locks so that we got power all the way to the front and the front is simply a collection of gears first we go directly to the legs this turn and then power is transferred using gears up to this arm here which disengage the truck so it's a very simple very reliable mechanism and it actually works fairly well. I would say that this truck with this trainer is much more fun and easy to play with than um, the other trucks and trailers that I presented. So let me just show you again how easy it works. So we go backward until the legs go down. See now I was overshooting a bit and if you do that you can just keep on going backwards so that the truck is not uh, disengaged. Let's try again. So, let's see. Oh, like that. And off we go. So you can see I don't even have to be precise or anything with, uh, with my driving. Which of course is pretty hard when you're just controlling it like this. So, yep. That's the trailer. And it works really well with the truck. Which makes this model completely awesome because it's easy to build and fun to play with. 